Hello and welcome to this special edition of New Scientist TV. We've scoured the internet to bring you 10 of the best science videos posted this month. Let's jump right in. Forget about the World Cup, this tournament is more high tech. The competitors are just a few microns long, and the playing field is a microchip. Tiny bots from around the world challenged each other in events like putting pegs in holes, the freestyle competition, and the ever popular 2mm dash. Robots like these might one day be used to help assemble nanomachines or even assist with microsurgery inside the body. More robots crawling into the 9 spot. The design is inspired by these tobacco hornworms. By studying their motion, designers hope to make robots that can burrow, climb, and apparently sort out your computer cables. These are some of the first robots made from soft materials, a design that could help them go where hard robots can't. Speaking of wriggling things, humans aren't the only ones who suffer after a night of too much drinking. At number 8, these roundworms normally live a sober life in the soil. But add a bit of alcohol, and normal worm activities, like moving in a straight line, get a bit more difficult. Yes, there is a serious point to this. Since the worms only have 300 neurons, researchers can see exactly how booze, and the morning after, affect the brain. Number 7 is a bit more sober. Millions of gallons of oil continue to flow into the Gulf of Mexico, courtesy of BP's Deepwater Horizon blowout. Nothing has worked to stop the flow, and some suggest that nukes might be in order. The Russians tried this at least a few times to stop natural gas blowouts in the mid-20th century, as this archival footage shows. Drill a hole, insert bomb, flip the switch, and problem solved. It was a simpler time back then. Needless to say, doing this on land is dangerous enough. Doing it a mile under the ocean, something else entirely. Number six brings us a bit of a mystery. Take some ordinary H2O, give it a whack, and it freezes. No, it's not the latest gimmick to get you to buy bottled water, it's physics. Supercooled water remains liquid well below its freezing point, until an impurity or shockwave forces it to crystallize. How this works has been a mystery, but physicists now think that special clusters of water molecules interfere with normal ice crystal geometry. We're halfway through now. The number 5 clip takes us into outer space. If you've ever wondered what it might be like to travel to Mars, this video gives a little taste. ESA's Mars Express Orbiter captured this time-lapse video over a complete 7-hour orbit of the red planet. The orbit map in the upper left corner shows where the satellite is while it passes over the night side. You can see Mars's volcanoes and its icy south and north poles. This time lapse gives the best guess yet as to what future astronauts might see as they approach our celestial neighbor. From the universe outside to the universe inside, number four shows us the moment a cell becomes infected with the AIDS virus, HIV. Scientists stained the virus with green fluorescent protein and then watched as it spread through a group of T cells. The infected cell forms a bridge to its victim, then erupts to deliver its payload. This is the first time this process has been caught on video and could help scientists to combat HIV and other viruses. At number three, this is thermal video footage from a lava pond in Hawaii. The bright spots show freshly exposed lava spattering and breaking through the surface. As hot gas erupts, the level of the lava surface sinks to fill the space. Geologists hope to use this footage to learn how lava ponds grow and evolve. Our second place clip takes us from the bowels of hell to the misty heavens. This time lapse of the night sky above Cotopaxi Volcano in Ecuador is a feast for the eyes. You can see shooting stars, the Coal Sack Nebula, the Southern Cross, and of course our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Not really any science news to this one, it's just really cool looking. Alright, nine clips down, one left. The number one clip this month shows us exactly why robots will one day take over the planet. These autonomous, unmanned mini-helicopters have learned a few slick moves, like flips, swarming, flying through windows, and perching. Agile flight has long been difficult for robots. This fancy flying might one day help in search and rescue. That's it for this special edition of New Scientist TV. Have you seen a cool science video online lately? If so, we'd like to hear from you. You can find us on Twitter at, at New Scientist TV, or use the contact form on our website, newscientist.com. For New Scientist TV, I'm McGregor Campbell. Thanks for watching.